WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. 11 o'clock, Tiger Financial News Network, a market update. This is Basil Chapman on this uh, Wednesday, the 22nd of June. The Dow is up 69 at 30,599. It has extended leg A, gray leg A, in the uh, Chapman Wave methodology. That is a good sign. Uh, we need the MACD to start improving even more in the stochastic, which is just at 13%. That is horrible. It needs to get to the... 22% level, really, if this is going to have a chance to go to the 9 and 14 period moving average. So far, so good. Uh, meantime, back at the ranch, the S&P, which is also up nicely, up 16 at 3781, has extended its leg A to the upside. It was at 3636 just three days ago. So this is a very nice move, and it's closer to the 9 period moving average of 3805. We're looking at the QQQ NDX 100 trading vehicle. Up uh, uh, also single leg A to the upside, gray up 271 at uh, 283.80. Nice move, it's above the nine period moving average at the moment. Uh, the pink, the black 14 period moving average at 287.21 is the big, big target this week. It needs to close above that, that'll be really important. IWM, the day's young, we've had Fed speak. All over the show, it seems to have helped the market, although the technicals, as we were looking at it, had a really good uh, chance of moving higher. And that that's unfolding, but it's early in the day. We'll see what happens. Um, the IWM is pulling back a little bit. Gold has had a very nice move. It is up three right now, but it's stuck in a range as the dollar which is trading down 28 ticks at 104.17, is also stuck in the upper range. So we're going to be watching that because if the dollar starts to break under 103 at any point, that's a negative. If it closes above 105.50, it's getting closer to the recent high, and that's going to be very important. Crude oil has just tumbled to the downside down uh, 5 at 104.40. This is the area right here in the 100 area is where it should try to find some support. The TLT, uh, TLT is running. It's up in leg B, and this is the first time we've seen some follow-through to the upside in quite a while. So yields are coming down, and that's important. Yields are coming down. Crude oil is coming down. The commodities are coming down. That should help the general market. I never had a chance to look at jets before in my show. I didn't take the opportunity. Uh, up six, this is a U.S. global um, ETF for, for the airlines. Uh, it's not so, not so good. Uh, most importantly, I'm going to hand you over to Larry Pozzavento. Larry's here back, and uh, it's going to be a great show as always. Uh, Larry, then think or swim, then you've got Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and Tom O'Brien. Check out my opening call, Daily Newsletter. Have a wonderful day. And just as we're going out, let's see if we've got a, got a bit of a pullback. Yep, in the one minute chart on the E mini, that's making 3768 pieces.